Hello everyone, welcome to my January wax and candle empties. And yes, it has been a busy day around here. Uh, I had to get up early, we took the puppies out in the woods for a run, then we came back and we went to Costco on a Sunday. Serenity now, serenity now. It's busy anytime, but on a Sunday. Anyway, we had to get some chicken wings. Um, Toronto Raptors are playing in a little while. I'm going to watch them. And then we're heading out to a Super Bowl party. So, yeah, um, I have to say I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Kansas City. Kind of have a little soft spot for them. So, anyway, um, I will start with the candles. And uh, we'll start with the Yankee candles first. So this is uh, the Simply Home Yankee Candle. And this is in Holiday Magic. And this was in the uh, discount store. So you can see, you can see me right through the glass here. This one was a very clean burn. There was no soot. Really, really good to burn for a one wick. And uh, this one, now on cold, to me this smelled like cloves. Cloves and evergreen, which is a wonderful, wonderful combination. But when it was burning, it was more like um, uh, just kind of a generic almost like an apple cinnamon berry kind of mix. So um, yeah, I liked it better on cold. Uh, it wasn't a bad throw. Now some of these Simply Homes, um, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they have great luck, other times not so great. Um, this is probably a little more than a medium throw, maybe about a six out of 10. So I kept it in a smaller room. But yeah, I just thought it, um, I did like it better on cold though, but yeah, it was a fantastic burn. And then the other Yankee is uh, Santa's Pipe. And this is actually um, the writing jar of Autumn Lodge. So it's just a wonderful, deep, rich cherry tobacco scent. And oh man, I just, it smells so good. And it, on the bottom, you can actually see all the oil just dripping away at the bottom of the candle there still. So yeah, it had a really good throw. And I think this was poured in 2013. I think I do have another Santa's candle, Santa's pipe, <laughs> Santa's candle, Santa's pipe in somewhere around um, the three wick uh, jar. So yeah, this one was really good. If you love cherry tobacco scents, you like Autumn Lodge, um, I don't think I've seen it in the discount stores for maybe a year or two. Um, but yeah, it is a really, really good one. And look at that oil. Ooh, love it. And then, uh, this is Twisted Peppermint by Bath & Body Works. So yeah, no issues with this candle. Uh, it, was, it was strong. This, this sucker fills up the house basically so yeah it's a very um very strong peppermint scent um which i really like in the winter time so yeah that's a that's a classic and this is chocolate peppermint cream and yeah there's just chocolate peppermint combination just remind me of the hot chocolate uh in the winter time when we're little and you add a little bit of mint to it. So yeah, it brings back uh, memories and it is just a really nice combination. I just love chocolate peppermint scents together. Oh yeah, this one was so good. Yeah, this one, um, I might have had to either cotton ball it. Sometimes instead of cotton balling the candle, I'll blow out the wicks and then I'll um, wait a little bit and then relight it and sometimes that kind of fix the problem um but i mean I, it's just not a big deal to me as long as it throws well and this one uh did throw quite well and this is uh winter white woods yeah this is before they put the um set notes on the bottom here for us canadians so winter white woods so yeah this was a smoky woodsy scent Oh, I, re I really did like this one. Um, it was a white wax, so it turned kind of like swamp water color there, uh, but uh, it didn't really seem to affect the, the scent or anything. But yeah, it's just a nice woodsy, smoky scent, a, a little hint of evergreen in there. So yeah, I really did, I really did like the uh, scent, and that label is just so pretty. And, um, oh, flannel. 
Oh, flannel, flannel, flannel. Yes, uh, this is my Jason Momoa candle. And yeah, great burn, great scent, great throw. Oh, I just, there's just something about this one. It's just a nice unisex, clony, flannelette sheet kind of scent. I always burn this in my bedroom. Oh, I just, oh, I just love my flannel. And there is a power. Now this one is actually a repackage of Fireside, not Marshmallow Fireside, just the Fireside. So you get that, just that smoky, woodsy scent. So I've been burning this a lot with my historical shows or if I'm reading a historical novel. Oh, this one is just such a good smoky, woodsy scent. Oh, just like a cabin in the woods with the fireplace in there. Mm, mm. That one is a good one. And there is Winter Snowfall. Uh, crisp Blue Sage, Ice Rosemary, and Dried Cedar Wood. So this one, I got more of the sage when it was burning. Uh, it really did change. I find that any sage scents from Bath & Body Works really changes on from um, the cold scent to the, the warmer scent. This one you can... The, uh, the sage really comes out when it's burning. So it is an herbal scent, but it is really tamed down by that woodsy tone. Uh, so if you don't like those really in-your-face herbal scents, um, this one just gets tamed down with that woodsy note. Uh, I didn't get rosemary. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of got that sagey, uh, woodsy kind of scent. Um, just a, a hint of powderiness in there or muskiness. But yeah, I really love this. And I'm going to, I do have another jar of this, but I'm going to save this and put like uh, a tea light or fairy lights inside because it looked absolutely gorgeous when it was lit up there. So, all right, that's it for my candles. Now, oops, for my wax melts. Yeah, I've got lots of them. Um, all right, so this is Savory Blackberry Cobbler by Better Homes and Gardens. So yeah, I got more blackberry and blueberries, just those deep, rich um, berry kind of scents, uh, more than the pastry. Oh, but this is good. There is a hint of pastry, but it's mostly just um, uh, all those winter berries and you sprinkle some sugar on top. Ooh. Oh, just, oh, there we go, that's better. I'm just slipping there. Oh, this one was good though, and it's strong and long lasting. And there is Cafe Au Lait by Swan Creek. And this wax actually had little pieces of coffee beans inside. This one is strong and it's good. If you like coffee scents, this is really a good one. It's not black coffee. There's a little bit of cream and sugar in there. I always pick up maybe a little bit of caramel, but this is strong, very long lasting. And yeah, I do have a couple of backups of this, uh, which I really like. My other favorite uh, Swan Creek is blueberry lavender, lavender blueberry. Um, but I, they don't make it anymore, and man, I just love that one. That's that's one of my favorite Swan Creeks. This is Pumpkin Spice Chai uh, by Ashlands, and from Michaels. Uh, this one was uh, from a couple of years ago. Uh, it really didn't smell like chai to me. It was more like a cinnamon kind of scent. Yeah, it was just more cinnamon than anything. I just didn't get all those other. Um, like the, the cardamom and um, all those other spices that you find in chai. It was just basically kind of like a cinnamon scent. So it was medium strength. And uh, this one is Harvest Love by Sensationals. And uh, this was in the Canadian Walmarts. I'm not sure about the U.S. Walmarts. But on cold, when I first got it, now this one changed too. Because on cold, I was like, yeah, a little generic, you know. We'll see what it's like. It's really good when it's melting, though. When it's warmed up, oh boy. Yeah, it really, I really like this. Um, it was a pumpkin-y kind of scent. Um, other kind of, you know, the squash and pumpkin and all those kind of scents in there. But there's uh, like a, 
just a little bit of a sweet perfumey scent to take it up a notch there and yeah on warm it's much better so I actually really did like this one and I think it was on clearance at Walmart um, so I did pick up a couple of others but I actually I really do like that one so yeah sometimes you just have to warm some wax up and it just kind of grows on you Sensational's brown butter I'm not sure if this is still in the Canadian Walmarts I think it's Canadian exclusive but oh boy this one's good um, brown butter so this is literally like you walk into a house and someone is melting some butter on the stove and then they're adding some brown sugar this one is like so good and so strong like when I'm melting this I usually don't melt other things because this kind of takes over but yeah this is a really really good scent and you you even get that hint of salt in the butter too Oh man, this one's so good. So yummy. And uh, Country Home Candle, which is a Canadian company. Now I don't, I think they closed their physical store, but their online store is still open. But they really put their shipping up, so I haven't really ordered anything from them in quite a while. Though their flannel, the scent flannel, is the best flannel sheet scent I have or laundry scent that I have ever smelled in my life. It is the best. Uh, so I do have about three backups of that one. But anyway, I digress. This is roasted pine cones. And this one was a light scent, so it was better in a smaller room. But yeah, it had that very earthy scent to it, but there was a touch of sweetness in there also. So it was kind of nutty, kind of earthy, a little bit of sweetness. Um, yeah, but yeah, a little bit on the lighter side, so I did better on a smaller room. This is Sugar Cranberries by Sensationals. And yeah, this one was tart. I do like the tart cranberries. I do like sweet cranberry scents, but I do like the tartness, that zinginess of the, the tart. Mm, yeah, this one was good. I did melt this in the kitchen. Um, and usually has to be a fairly strong scent to kind of take take over the cooking smells and everything. But this one did quite well, actually. So yeah, I did like that one. And this is Maple Sugar Pie by Sensationals. And yeah, this is another fairly strong um, scent. Uh, oh yeah, you can, you can actually kind of pick up that maple scent in there. Mm, yeah, that one was good. I don't think they had that one anymore, though. Uh, this is Apple Butter Crumble by Sensationals. I'm doing a lot of bakery this month. Um, yeah, this is another, you know, decently strong one. You get that apple, you get that sugary oatmeal that you sprinkle on top of crumble desserts. Yeah, this one was good. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum. Uh, Pure White Woods by Better Homes. Um... I think this one was just a little too clony. I, yeah, I think this one reminded me of Mahogany Teakwood from Bath & Body Works. And I don't like Mahogany Teakwoods. I do like clony kind of scents. But yeah, this one, yeah, I didn't really particularly enjoy that too much. Uh, this is Sensational's White Sandalwood. So sandalwood normally is kind of a soft, uh, kind of calming scent. And I do like it when it's added to a certain scents. It just kind of smooths and softens things out a little bit. But this one was just a little too clony. It wasn't the sandalwood that I was expecting, so I was kind of disappointed in that one, too. And then I do have a couple colonial candles. Um, uh, I've been kind of reorganizing all my wax and everything, and I... I have just, I think I ended up buying like a, close to 70 of these when they were on sale for like 40 cents each or 50 cents each. So I'm trying to go through those. Some have lost, lost their scent, some have retained their scent. Uh, this is Cranberry Nut. Now the only thing with this is it doesn't, it's not cranberry enough for me. It's an, a very earthy scent. Um, but it just wasn't cranberry enough for me. And yeah, it's just kind of a lighter scent. And this is Fresh Aloe by Colonial Candles. So I did uh, melt this in the powder room. And I actually do like this one. It is definitely a nice greenery scent. Oh yeah, that one's just a really good. And there's no sweetness added or anything. It's just that nice, sharp greenery scent. 
Oh, I really did like this one actually. And uh, the thrill was fairly decent on there. And then I did go through some uh, Yankee scent cups and this is uh, Yankee Candles Warm Luxe Cashmere. And this is a great bedroom scent. It's a slightly perfumey kind of laundry scent. Um, oh, but it just softens up so much when it's melting and it's, it's a perfect bedroom scent. Yeah, this just fills up my bedroom. It's just very soothing. And this is Yankee Candle Centerpiece in Christmas Celebration. Oh boy, this one's a good one. So I got this at the SAS and then I melted it and I went back to the SAS, got some more. This one is so good. It is a, um, just a lot of those winter berries, uh, deep rich berries, all mixed in with spices. Um, there's a bit of cinnamon, but it's not overly, it's just, a, just enough cinnamon to know it's there. Um, but like it just smells like maybe there's nutmeg in there and cloves mixed in with all those rich red berries, winter berries. It is so good. This one's really good and it actually filled up my family room in the centerpiece. So this one is really, really good. And then a uh, gel tin warmer by Yankee in um, Magical. Oh, my eyeballs. I have to get new bifocals. I can't see far away. I can't see up close anymore. I just um, Frank wants me to have that laser surgery on my eyes, but um, anyway, we'll see. Magical frosted forest. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this one is good. It's a very original, different type of evergreen scent. Oh, I can't smell it here anymore. Yeah, there's a. Um, there's a note in there that makes it a little bit different than your usual evergreen scents, but I really do like it because it's just a very original. Um, yeah, this one is strong. Now, this one I didn't find as long-lasting as some other gel tins that I've had, uh, but I mean, it did fill up my kitchen and it kind of wandered out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, but yeah, the kitchen's maybe not the best place for scents because um, when Jules and Frank cook, they man they use every pot in the house they love spices and all those rich um, condiments and everything like that so yeah the kitchen's probably not the best place to melt some of this stuff but it still did fairly well when they were cooking uh this is the uh, yankee candle uh, tea lights in warm chestnut now yeah these tea lights aren't the strongest throwers but man, this warm chestnut ooh, scent is really, really good. It is just delicious. I really like it. Um, I wish I could find, uh, I wish they brought this back in like a scent cup or something because it would be really, really good. Oh, and then I got about 10,000 uh, Yankee wax melts. How long is this video? I'm at 18, oh geez. Um, so I'm trying to get rid of all my Yankee wax melts except for Mountain Lodge and some of the stronger throwing wax melts. Um, so I'm just trying to use them up uh, because they're discontinuing them now. So um, there is the Warm Luxe Cashmere and as I said it's a great soothing soft scent. Uh, the Red Berry and Cedar is just, a, I love the combination of Red Berries and uh, Evergreen scents in the winter time. Oh, just a perfect combination. Uh, this one is such a good one, but it's just such a light throw. I can barely smell that. Uh, this is Cafe El Fresco. And how many do I have? I have a couple. So I did uh, melt a couple of these at the same time in the family room. And it did fill up the family room. So this one's pretty... It's, it's, it doesn't have a bad throw to this one. And it is a good coffee scent. Um, pink hibiscus. Uh, very nice on cold, but I couldn't smell it when it was melting, and that was a smaller room. Um, this is French Countryside, which is kind of a more sharper type of uh, floral, but um, yeah, it was a um, uh, maybe a medium throw. Oh, this is a really good Yankee scent. Uh, the Sugared Apple. I wish I could bring that back sometime. And, um, a center I think I do have a center cup of this I'll have to drag it out but this is a really yummy sugary apple scent and but there's a muskiness to it oh it's so good so so good um then I did melt uh 
a couple of uh, Mountain Lodge. So that, that's one of my favorite Yankee scents of all time. The, the Mountain Lodge. And actually the tarts do pretty good. Um, I have to say. Luckily the tarts do well. Um, Moonlit Night. It's uh, from their Home Inspiration line. Yankee's Home Inspiration line. So this was a cloney scent. But it did soften up was when it was melting. And actually I use these as votives. You can cut them in half and use them as tarts. But I do like the look of my votives all lit up. But th um, this did soften up. And I actually did like it. Uh, there is bubbly pomegranate. Um, again a medium throw. Uh, a nice sweet pomegranate scent. Uh, there is uh, sparkling snow. Now this one does have a strong throw. A very original, almost like a, a eucalyptus kind of greenery scent. Um, and yeah, I do have good luck with the throw and the tarts on that one. Uh, this is Snow Dusted Bayberry Leaf. Another one that I have good luck with with the tarts and the scent cups. Um, this one is a really good, it's an herbal scent. I wish they had put a little more berry in here, but it's a very good herbal scent. Um, mistletoe, that's another one of my favorite evergreen scents uh, from Yankee. But again, does better in scent cups. Uh, Tranquil Mist. Actually, this one was strong. I was very surprised because on cold, it is light. It's a very soft, perfumey, spa-like scent. And I didn't think it was going to throw. It filled up my bedroom. So that was a, a very nice surprise. I really like that one. Uh, morning Roast. I couldn't smell this one. It was strong on cold, but I couldn't smell it. Another Snow Dusted Bayberry Leaf. Uh, another Mistletoe. Another Mountain Lodge. Uh, red Berry and Cedar again. Uh, that needs to be stronger. Spicy Pepper Berry and Spruce. So that's another kind of a red currant evergreen scent, which I really liked. And actually it had a pretty good throw on that one. Uh, beech wood. I always have pretty good luck with the tarts in the beech wood. Very original scent. Oh, this it's almost like a spicy clone, but it, it's so soft. Like spicy clone meets the woods, but it softens up and becomes very musky when it's warmed up. I love this one. And then there's Enchanta Moon, which is actually oh, maybe get a medium throw out of this one. Um, yeah, that's the year that all the Yankee Fall scents were kind of on the perfumey side, which didn't make any sense. But this one I did like. Yeah, it is good, but it just, I wish it was stronger. Um, oh, phew! Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I I didn't get through any Scentsy because um, they had that big sale in January. And I was just trying out so many different ones um, that I didn't really finish any up. But anyway, I did do an order of some of their new um, spring summer scents and I did order a couple of Scentsy warmers. So anyway, um, that's why there's no Scentsies in here because I was just trying out different ones before I ordered in that. So anyway, yeah, that's it guys. Um, so I'm going to go watch my uh, my boys, the Toronto Raptors play. They've won 10 in a row and then I'm going to go watch the Super Bowl. So anyway, yeah, um, going to be eating lots of goodies today. <laughs> But anyway, I kind of counteracted all that food intake with the hike, hopefully. So anyway, everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And we'll see you soon.